Uh, I don't know. Forever. You want to stream it, like, today? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, do you want to stream this today, Vito? Yeah. When should we start? Uh. Are we live? Blasted. We're live, you mo ran. Let me check the. Uh, well, Vito's been owned already. Uh. Yeah, take a look you at the chat. You just turn it off. If you, if you only came for the blast. Yeah, if you only it came for the happened. blast. Welcome back to Blast Town. Uh, I'm here to blast. Are you here to blast, Vito? I believe I am, yes. So we're going to be playing Contra the Hard Corpse. We're going to be entering a code that gives us a large number of lives. Don't don't spoil how many lives it is. Because, is uh, it more than ten? Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of lives. We're gonna enter that code. Look at this silly looking And then thing. daddy's gonna stop being hungry. Right? Are you gonna be hungry while this is going on? I'm I'm not. I'm pretty hungry right now, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess uh I guess uh yeah, we don't really Oh did we play Smash T V last week? Are you gonna be hungry while this is going on? I'm I'm not. I'm pretty hungry right now, yeah. Well listen <laughs> to that. We got we got good quality. Okay, Sounds I'm gonna good. put a chat only. Alright. Welcome to Blast Town. So check this out. Ready? Here we go. We're gonna be entering a code. Here it is. It is uh, C B A right left C B A right left C B A right left. And there's the screaming sound, which informs us. Oh, we've got 70 lives. Oh, well, there we go. And that's all that we need, right? Is that all you need? That's all I want. That's all I need. All right. Um, that's Fang, Sheena, uh, Metal Gear. Meta cheetah. You played this game before, Vito? Uh, very briefly. Uh, Am I, I gonna be, be the Sheena, werewolf? So get off of Sheena. Yeah. Okay. Look at that yeah, morph. Yeah, Yeah, that morphing. Somebody spent time making that. Yeah, that's pixel art. This is uh, the work of uh, one of the greatest geniuses in the history of. Uh, Wait, are you gonna be Sheena? Yeah, I'm gonna be Sheena the girl. Uh, I kind of wanna be the girl, but I'll be the the werewolf with. Yeah, that's some real pixels uh, there, man. Yeah, that's some beauty pics. That is Let's what, rock. That is what the pixels I wanted. Wait, how's this running at 60 FPS? I thought this was a, a old game. video, a retro game. Is this oh, some sort yeah. of speed hack? Well, actually, retro games ran at uh, more than 60 FPS. No, that's not right. I've watched them on YouTube my whole life. Look at this, we got a guy with a stick. Uh, he's our, he's our leader. God, these are some heck of graphics, man. Yeah, this game's got some of the most beautiful graphics. You couldn't ask the Pixel kids to make this sort of thing these days because they, they just couldn't do it. So this game is renowned for being really weird and having, well, look how many lives we have. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what the controls are before we get off here. Uh, so, yeah, the, yeah, the uh, X button's gonna be to shoot. I made right. it, because that's good. V button's jump. Uh, the uh, top button here is gonna switch your weapons. And then the... What do you mean top button? L? The top, R? The, the top button, the, the Y button, oh, whatever y. it's called on the okay. Xbox. That'll switch your weapons, but we don't have any yet. And then the button on the right, which is the B button, is gonna switch you between shot one and shot two. Shot two is fixed, and shot one is free. If you're in the Gunstar. So shot two is you're stuck where you are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. fixed and free. Gunstar green, uh, blue and Gunstar red. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, well, I've already been shot twice. I do not purport to be an expert at this game, uh, but I love it. Look at my jeans. Look at these dungarees. Uh, yeah, nothing like a werewolf in dungarees. Huh? So basically what we've decided is that whoever has the most points at the end of 69 lives. Do you think we'll go through 69 lives? I mean, I guess it's ha uh, haunted. This seems hard, man. You, Would mean, you say that you need to be one of the hardcore to handle this? Whoa! So I got weapons. So yeah, this is... Uh, when, whenever people talk about... Uh, Remember when video games were hard? What? I got hit? Whenever people talk... So this is the Japanese version of Life Meters, by the way. Did the American version just one hit, one, one kill? Hit, one hit, immediate psycho death. What? Was it way? Was it at all difficult to change or no? Uh, depends on who you ask. It was a hard game. But I'm saying, was the American one 
less diff like it was harder. It was harder, uh, okay. yeah. We're playing this because we're we're playing it idiot baby style. So this game is renowned for Whoa. having about five billion different endings. Uh, oh, I fired my bomb. Wow, I can't believe I got hit. I don't know how I'm not supposed to get hit by this thing. Slide. Oh, you can slide. Yeah. No, I can't slide I there. I lost my first <laughs> life. Well, so did you. I've been. I lost that life a couple lives ago. Yeah, I'm just like. Well, that's stupid. If the American version was way harder. It rules, though. Okay, here comes. We figured the first. America was used to it. See, so, yeah, whenever people talk about uh, video games, uh, like what were the best games on a system or whatever, I get like unreasonably mad when people pick a game. They like name games that are uh, on other consoles. You know. I also mm -hmm. get really mad when people say Comics Zone is any good. I like Comics Zone. I don't think it's that bad, it's man. It's real bad. Why? But yeah, so like you I get mad when that. people are like, uh, I'm trying to think of a game that is on the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. Turtles in Time. Them. Well, actually, no. Hyperstone Heist is not Turtles in Time. I like Hyperstone Heist better than Turtles in Time. Sunset Riders. Oh man, I love it. I love Contra. Can I just hold on to that for as long as I want? Yeah, yeah, your buddy's just gonna be a buddy on it. Whoa. Whoa! Ah! What are we doing? Yeah, so see, this is a true cinematic action game. A CAG? A cheap-ass game? Yeah. I hate this car. Oh, this guy's gonna blow up that car. What's he saying, Tim? Uh, who cares? Did he say, I am the robot, prepare so to go? I'm a robot, I hate everyone. Whoa, whoa! Did I seriously just get hit by him? So yeah, I'm not I'm very good at this I'm just punching fire at him. I think you, this is one of those games where you get to play it more than a couple times. It's just, uh, it's just such an assault of visibility. But yeah, I get real mad when people are like, naming a game that's on like every console. Uh, and it's like, there are like, I, I prefer to think of like the essential games for a console, and it's like that's this is definitely one of those. Madden, dude. Madden. Oh, Madden was better than Genesis. And it's like also games that like there's. Wow, I'm already dead. Ooh, what was that? Yeah, this, Whoa! This game doesn't mess around, man. You're telling me I had one life in America? Forget it. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Forget it. Also, this game is renowned for having like a bunch of endings. Yeah, it's all time travel endings, right? Yeah. You can get like trapped in the past. Oh yeah. Whoa, there's a guy inside of that thing. Tom? It is Tom. I have a metal eye. Wow, man, this game's hard, man. I haven't played it in a billion million years. Let's Do we have to go make a choice? To Cancun. Let's go to the laboratory. Cancun? Do -do 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 -do. It was still a Contra game. Oh! Spear bites. Oh, look at those spear bites. God, that's so weird. Hey, brother. Oh, man, yeah. So the Mega Drive was just totally for weird people. Like, not just at this point, but like, in general. Like, uh... It's for Mega Drivers. What the heck? I keep accidentally putting myself onto, uh, Shot Mode 2. Oof. Trying to get back to the lab, and then you know. What a gorgeous looking game. Sometimes though, you'll be thinking, like, man, I should have got inside my little spaceship. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's sick blur. Yeah, that's crazy. That must have looked real weird on TV. Well, now we're up here. Yeah, I have a. Whoa! <laughs> Somebody was having way too much fun. Programming this dumb thing. Oh, shoot. What if it was a chase, man? Space chase. 
Oh man. Are you punching? I am punching. I don't know if it's useful. Yeah, you got your fist attack. Oh, it does big damage. I hope. Uh oh, here comes that fire. Yeah, he's a big idiot with that fire. Oh. Thank God we keep pivoting our bodies to maintain uh, facing the camera. Whoa! 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 Did you get both of those? I guess I did. You dingus. Well, you know what they say. He who grabbed it. Punch it. Oh, yeah. God, even the walls just explode. Oh, it's, oh, it's Dr. Those are buddies? And Stein. Wow, he's really tiny. Dog? What is this guy? I don't know what they were talking about. Man. Chicken scratch. Whoa! 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 Oh, all right, come all right. on. You're going high and I'm going low. We'll meet up in the morning. Ow. Seems like taking the high ground is always way more dangerous. Shoot! That. We gotta climb? Yeah, we gotta yeah, climb. It's climbing time. What did my strider all of a sudden? Come on. You did. Heck darn! <laughs> Keep accidentally leaving me shot too on. I have a B. Wait, I already had B. Oh, I need uh, to get one for, of I each letter. Gun. I got daddy gun. Okay, so each letter you pick up powers up your weapon that is in that slot. BTW. Shimata. Ani yawanakot. Yo. Kara. Wait, Kara. Something's coming from above. Oh, I well, if only you'd been able to read Japanese, you would have stayed on the floor. Oh. Wow! What? Yeah, I love how nonsense this game is. Nobi and Nakazato, man. This guy was nuts. What is this? What is that? Woo! God, this guy is like a huge idiot. You see him? I'm scared. He keeps putting. He keeps He's making little chest moves with his... Ah! Stop it! Oh, he's red and angry. Have you noticed that we have uh, no points piece, by the way? Oh yeah, we're not going to be getting any of those. Yeah. I think whatever The rules are whoever loses all their lives first is the loser. Great. Well, I'm, I'm not winning that. Well, it's still... Early. Oh hey, it's uh, Mutoid Man. Oh no, that's uh, Krang. From uh, Ninja Turtles, dude. He seems like he's fun, but once he gets inside the robot, look at I love out. that robot. That robot was Maza so weird. Idiot. He's uh, got something to do with the mother aliens. This is Contra. This is the Alien Wars, so. The Alien Wars are still going on, is that what I'm being told? You just part of your A weapon. How does that feel? Feels pretty good. Look at these idiots. Trying to Mad Max. Whoa! What? Daddy didn't like that. You gotta see where they're coming because they, they show you from farther away. They're coming down though. Man. There's some legitimate effort put into this game, I tell you what. Yeah, it's just extremely, extremely full of stuff. Well, what's sad about it is you look at this game and you go, you know, any American programmer would be like, ah, no, nobody's gonna pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. No one's ever gonna remember anything about this game anyway. And now we're here, we get to enjoy it. Because it's the Nobu Yanakazato genius. Man, I didn't even see that guy. Attention to detail. ATD. Dang it. Oh, I thought I was dead, but I was just on the ground. It's not the first time I've spoken that sentence. <laughs> Every time I come here, it seems like you say that. Uh, I gotta turn off. Fix shot. Be a gun. Oh hey, I got a, a gun. I got a bomb finally. Who's this bird? It's What's that bird? I hate it. It won't die. Can I touch it? <gasps> oh! Shit. How do I bomb? How do I bomb? How do I bomb? How do I bomb? 
trusting your mom, but. I, I literally. Oh, I, I pressed a bunch of buttons and something happened. And then you died. Yeah, daddy died. Daddy's dead. Daddy got dead. Oh, come on! Oh, I gotta slide more. The fury. Oh, I turned shot too off, and now I'm better. Are we making enough bullets? Oh, come on, I slid. I screamed. <laughs> Did the Genesis just have like some packed in screams? I think so. Freescreams.com. Wahoo! Nope. Yeah, so this game is, uh... Confusing. Is it good game design, or is it, like, horrible? Because <laughs> there's so much stuff that you just have to play it. Yeah, you, you can't have any idea happen. what you're accomplishing or not. It's like Contra 3, the Contra, Alien The original War, Contra so. was like that, though. You never did. Nah, you can kind of just kind of wade Wing through it. Contra 1. If you're just a good video game player, yeah, theoretically. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, this was like, so Contra, those were arcade games, right? So this is like for Mega Drive, you know? Everyone likes to talk about Alien Soldier with its ridiculous name. 68, now is the time for the 68,000 hard on fire Alien Soldier for Mega Drivers Custom. You know, that, that's actually like the full official name of that game. Uh, the Mega Are we Drive fighting was, Kim Jong-un right now? Yeah. Oh, he turned into a constellation. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, isn't this rule? Get bold, idiot. Whoa! Holy shnikes. Oh, Daddy powered up it. his A weapon. Don't stand next to me. He's going to do something to us. Holy shnikes. I like this guy. This guy's patterns are d doable. Stop taking all the stuff! Daddy powered up his B weapon. Uh oh. Oh, the twins. The Gemini. Herman and German. Oh! Shut oh. up! Oh! 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 Herman and German. What?! It sees for me! Take it. It's your crusher weapon. Flamethrower. Listen, Kim John, I don't like you, I don't like your robot crotch. Whoa, he turned into a disc! Ah! Dang. No, I lost my thing! Oh, you're not gonna keep all of the things. It's now we're playing Tetris with power. How, how what am I supposed to do? Just get wrecked over there? But yeah, so the concept being that these games are just nuts. The Mega Drive games are just weird. And the idea being you're gonna take this home and you're gonna just kinda ponder over it, you know? Whoa! God, such a cool video game. What was I supposed to do there? There's no way to get around these things. Man, getting my face ripped off. You think you're getting your face ripped off? Man. It turned into a disc. So freaked out right now. It's a chopper! Whoa, copter wild. Ah, ah, ah. Ugh. Why am I getting hit by the blade over and over? Because you're dead. Hit her with the blade. Oh my god. I really love your Gunstar Heroes dead sound, by the way. I remember like EGM and such being like... Oh, it's got polygons in it. It's like, not no, really. No, it doesn't. It almost looks like it does. Oh, man. We're getting our face ripped up. Die right. Tom Jack was late, and uh, what an idiot. All right, let's kick it. Is this Seven Force? Uh, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, this game has a lot of uh, a lot of playful crossover with Gunstar Heroes in, in various regards. So yeah, that's Seven Force. Oh, we got to take on this guy now. Don't, don't take them both. Don't, you don't take them both either. <laughs> You nut toucher. <laughs> I took them both. I wanted them both. You've been taking them both forever. I want to see what this is. Why don't you get in front? Whoa, it sucks! 
It must be really powerful, but it's hyper focused, and now I lost all the stuff. Oh, so I only lose the one that I was equipped with at the point of death, is what yeah. it seems to be. So if you were a also, pro you can't change weapons player, while shooting. You gotta let go. I think we gotta if you were a pro player, you would, uh, you would never die. I like how you can fire down, uh, and you gotta... I wanna turn my shot too. Wow, they really liked that they programmed this. Yeah, this game just ran 60 <laughs> FPS. Yeah, like, like, what if a bajillion steady. monkeys just came at you? Oh my god. Yeah, see, like, you gotta just know that's gonna happen. Well, I mean, the giant feet should have been some sort of... This is not working. Yeah, so other video games, like the original Contra, it's like... If you're just... If you just generally uh, are good at games, you can beat it. But this is like, you gotta be good at games and you gotta like see stuff. You gotta like, be a weird psychopath. You gotta like see the feet and be like, where's the head? You've gotta have weird imagination about it. You'd be like, it's definitely gonna turn into a helicopter. And what do helicopters do? They detach the rear rotor to use it as a projectile. It's gonna turn into a helicopter with a rear rotor, is what you would say. Yeah. Oh, like, man. what's this guy gonna do? I bet his head's gonna burst through the water. Oh, he's got spider fingers. My grandma had spider fingers. I oh. bet he's gonna pick up the bridge and uh, make it a problem for me. What is he doing to the bridge? Why is it, what? Yeah, see? Oh, I love it. I love it. What, what did I get hit by? Oh, you got oh. so wasted, you moron. He did his blue thing. You gotta own, you fool. You got blasted, you myself. Oh, come on. I'm gonna make sure I don't have my grenade dropper on. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. It's all about that My bridge. Shot. We did it. <gasps> I bet this is a big slug. No, it's a dinosaur tail. No, it's a dinosaur head. <laughs> this game's just like, yeah, dude. Oh, we're on a weird angle where we can't just aim diagonally. Oh, All right. He's just breathing? Don't get, don't get hit by his snot bubbles. I think it's just hot breath. We've time traveled back to prehistoric times. Oh, I love how this thing just kind of... This thing just lives in prehistoric times. For those of you who are wondering how Donald Trump got elected president, it was mostly due to the meddling of the Contra Hardcore with the time stream. Mm -hmm. They, uh, they really, they really goofed things up. Bunch of goof around Sandys. Oh my god, I was way more stuck in this game than you, apparently. Oh. Oh, yeah! I wish I had a single powered up weapon. You do. We got him. Or did we? Isn't your B powered in there? Oh, what if there's another one? Now my B is uh, level one. I hope this one doesn't merge with that one to become a double ball crazoid. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are we supposed to do? I can't... You... you, no, you I jumped over it, actually. <laughs> yeah, you can, like, just barely jump over. And it, most of the stuff you can jump over... Wow! You can just barely jump over. Oh, God, I hate this guy. Oof. Kaboom. I love these bullets that arc. That's what Sheen is all about. What, what, is that bad? The purple? I guess not. You also gotta know what is uh, set dressing and what. I got one. There. Oh, oh nice. yeah, leveled up my B. Flamethrower. Oh, yeah, by the way, a little ceiling action here. Don't, don't. Is this double up. Force? 
Is this the Gunstar Heroes battle music? I hate you, robot. Dead Eye Joe. Stop making fun of my dead eye. And yeah, it sucks for him to have a dead eye. You should be able to slide along the roof by pressing up and jump. Alright, I know he's saving up for something. Oh, there it is. Holy shit! Whoa, why am I behind him? That seems bad! No, it's good. Are you kidding me with this? Ah! Oh, shoot. I don't think it's taking damage right now. He's always taking damage. Wait, where are we? Oh my god. I'm up here. I don't know where you are wanting to be. Uh, god. What a what a serious video game masterpiece whoa! this is. It's just something weird and new every every step of the way. Yeah. He doesn't want to just give you levels, you know? Level Oh shoot. Oh! We keep touching though. I was so busy shooting. Keep touching. Yeah, you can't can't let the bottom of the screen touch you. That's where death is. Yeah? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Look at it! What kind of robot does that? Dead Eye Duh. Joe. Duh. Dead Eye Joe, man. Uh-oh. Aw. You seriously take a hit? Did I seriously take a hit? SHUT UP! <laughs> when it bounces, it bounces, man. Trash monster. Yep, that was probably something that was gonna happen, huh? Is he taking damage? That's a joke. Whoa, I did slide damage to him. I got... I got tripped up. Look at this. Look at me. Bit. Okay, I, was, I thought I had a nice thing going there. Oh, there he goes. Better red than dead. Whoa! I we're not getting four screen killed. Oh, is he running from us now? Yeah. He's afraid, Dead Eye Joe. Gonna assume be dead, Joe. If it weren't for dead, I Joe, we'd beaten this boss a long time ago. Do it in a monotone, then they can't flag your channel. Ow. Shut up! Still up on me by like five lives. Sadly. God damn it. <laughs> oh man, he was rope doping us. Now he's just. Alright, now he's gonna do those idiot lasers. What? I love Dead Eye. How on earth? How did you dodge it? Are you supposed to stop shooting him when he's doing that? No. You gotta go around him. Yeah, this, this game's not as completely ridiculous as one might think. Yeah, it's getting there. I mean, you can actually... Oh! Where's he going? A lot of the stuff just doesn't visually add up. Like, it doesn't look like you should be able to grab that, but you can. It doesn't like look like you would be able to get over the top and of it. That's a, thing. a whole lot of this game design stuff that is uh, cleaned up, or uh, that's uh, kind of you know, it's just it, it just kind of changes uh -oh. based on the circumstances. So wait, is that scientist supposed to be my friend or no? No, the doctor is. Uh, he's a bad guy. You're skipping through it. I could tell you. Oh, uh, what do you say? You say I'm the best? They're gonna have a big fight. Uh, hold on, hold on. Shall we, should we fight? Or what's the other option? Or should we wait for our option to attack? Or a better chance? Wait for a better chance. Let's go to jail. 
Coo, coo, coo. All right, I guess we're in jail. All right, we gotta escape. That was easy. Whoa, is he our friend now? Yeah, he's our bud. And he gives us our guns back. Wait, why is he our bud? Can't you guys see that? I mean, that's a twist. We got out of jail real quick. That's for me. And man, that's also man, for me. Like, seriously, stop it. I didn't do that on purpose again. Man, yeah, you are. <laughs> he did that like 50 times in a row. Like, maybe three times total. You can have the next one. No, oh, fuck. They can give them to you at the beginning of the level. Dude. No, they show up. No, it's the beginning of the levels. Man, the music in this part is so ridiculous. Uh. Oh. Hello. This seems like a good thing that they've invented here. What if we had a crane that, instead of the robots, can get where they want to be, the crane just lifts them up and around and they. Well. God. This is very phallic, by the way. Which I like. Big swinging balls. Big swinging dongs. Touching tips. Oh my god. <laughs> Were you expecting that? No? What? <laughs> 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 that guy was just having a real good time. Bizarre. Psychedelic explosion. Yeah, I really wanted that explosion to sink him. There, you missed them both. That was your fault. Uh, yeah, you shot him, so... You were shooting as well. I didn't shoot them. Man, I love these motorcycles. Rail, rail cycles? Cinematic action game. Oh, I guess I can't be on. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, so much parallax. Yeah, they went nuts with it. What? It's the way these things move, too. Oh, lordy. What am I shooting? And why aren't you helping shoot whatever should be shot? Oh, I was shooting. Ow. Shut up. Oh, we have to make it shoot itself. We're so smart. God, the stupid train music alone. Seven fours. Man, Hollywood's always talking about they want to make a video game into a movie. Make this into a movie. This is the only movie anyone would ever need to watch. I think the closest we can have to a movie of this is uh, uh, Godzilla Final Wars. Hey, a pattern that gave me time to analyze it and respond appropriately. He's trying to flip the train! What? What is that? Why does he make little balloon friends? They're baby balloons. Bubbly bombs. He used to be oh, a man, he's up on children's top of birthday stuff party now. clown. Oh. Did he get tired of not being able to flip the train? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! Oh, he just big, he big booted me. Give me the Johnny Big Boot. Hi, I'm Big Boot Johnny. Shut up! Oh, Big Boot. I scream! Ah, I dodged the boot! Hey, Johnny Big Boot is real, it's a heart attack. You did. No! Oh, he went for the boot right there. Kick you right in the head. I'm what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? I'm Big Boot Janet. Oh, where'd you go, punk? <gasps> he just oh. died, kicked the train? And 
train is going to derail, of course. No, I think we're okay. Honk and honk. God, what a what a masterpiece of video game. Okay, so if, if anybody out there was not aware, we are exploring but one of what feel like a ridiculous number of paths to take. No, I got you. one. Oh, it's a stupid fist again. I wanted my big gun. Wait, how come I can't pop open this one? Only someone pop open. You gotta just be tough. So who's working for the aliens, with the aliens, who is an alien? The doctor's working for the aliens. Am I an alien? Because I'm a werewolf? Down. No, you're a mutant. Oh, here comes a boss that you might be able to detect his patterns. Is it Seven Force? No, it's just Big Red. Robo Bird. What? You just helped me. Does he want to be the one to kill us? Is that his way? Shut up! You can change your uh, shot mode during cutscenes. This is cool. I like this. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm just having my punch now. You have like a quarter of an instant. Oh, I gotta shoot the exact shoot blade. The yeah. When I had my punch, it just went everywhere. Why do you slow down? Because you're shooting him. Oh, this is where he just starts making noises. God, what an amazing amount of strange noise that's just all over this game. This game is just psychotically weird noise. I love it. Man, that thing is just mad. Here we go. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta make sure I don't lose this gun. This is my homing gun. Daddy likes his homing gun. Aw, oh, what? No, get out of there! Daddy likes his homing gun. What?! <laughs> you lost it. No, I didn't lose the homing gun. I still got it. God, it's so violent. Your own, idiot. Listen up, man. You gotta stop, you gotta stop doing you. this. Oh, oh! Oh! He just, he just straight up exploded him. All right, Fang says we can't let a fool like you live. We're an evil person. Let's go. Put the phone down. Vito just has to be looking at his phone. I'm Everybody. reading the chat. I told you they're okay. They can get along just fine. Oh man, he's he's got them all tied up there. I saw. That guy's the colonel. Did he kill him? Yeah, he's dead. That seems like unnecessary. Wow! He's a muto. He was a muto all along. Was, wait, was he a muto all along? I think he turned him into a thing. I'm in a weird position here. Daddy got chumped. You done got chump licked. Alright, my name is chump licked. Shut your mouth! The patterns are insane. Yeah, I love it though. It's at least kind of understandable. You just gotta... You gotta Simon Says with him. So he moves along that moves web, along the path, but it doesn't he... hurt you. Yeah, it doesn't okay. hurt you. Shut my balls! Close the door on my testicles. Where'd we go? Oh, we're alive. That? I want the A. I'll pick the B, even though it's my stupid punch. Look at how I put my foot out when I punch. It's like, bang. 
Final boss. No. Maybe. This is, this is the good ending. あ、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、
on a stream that we then edit into a video. I feel like it and was. You can talk about Magic the Gathering. It was. <laughs> Di Tom Jack is asking you what's good in Magic the Gathering. Like, he's doing it as a joke. He doesn't care. See you next mission. See you next mission, Moran. Well, uh, you won the, the lives race. I'll tell you yeah, that right I now. I did. Sorry, everybody. I won that one. Ugh. All right. Oh, wait. 2P score. I had way more points. Doesn't matter. What? You originally said points matter, and then you changed it because it wasn't Cause playing we the points. Because we couldn't see the points during the game. Yeah, well, I was I was uh, knocking it out of the park. Let me tell you. Yeah, but I was uh, remember. I do remember this point in the game where you said, "Oh, Ooh, beautiful uh, sound." I'm going to give myself a a very good silver medal. Yeah, where where I remember a point in the game where you said, "Oh, he slows down if we're not shooting at him." And it's like, yeah, you're not supposed to just be blasting all the time in this game. Uh, God. So did they name it Hardcore in America? And then, or in Japan, is there actual a translation for Hardcore? Uh, no, it's called Contra, the Hardcore in Japanese. That's what it's called. So here's a, here's a little fun fact, if you're taking a look. Are you, are you chatting in the chat about magic? What are you, what are you doing? So a little fun fact uh, is all these old Konami arcade games, they have these weird kanji names. That's just kontora, is what that says. Which, so which just, means control. No, just It's like uh, there was the Iran-Contra affair going on at that time. Man, look at all this stuff we didn't even see. And because we didn't go to those levels. Yeah. This game is just completely full of stuff. God, that is some weird use of mode, whatever the heck you want to call it, blast processing. Yeah, they made up their own sort of thing. That looks insane. Blast processing absolutely was not a real thing. Uh, well, no, that's what made Sonic fast. Mode too. 7 was absolutely a real thing. Yeah. Uh, Sega could just do some stuff. I mean, look, this game had, has no slowdown. You know? Well, that's what I'm gonna say is, I think that... That's, uh, that's not what they... When they said blast processing, what they basically meant was that it had a faster CPU. And, uh, it was not... So, yeah, man, let's, let's, let's talk about this, then. Uh, there's a lot of... They talked about blast processing when the Genesis yeah. was out. And then, nowadays, people will go, blast processing wasn't real. That was something they made up. And it's like... I don't think they specifically ever purported that it was a, uh, what do you call it? A hardware that it was, feature? That it was a hardware thing. I think it just meant our processors faster. They didn't even, yeah, they didn't talk about processors on TV. Well, nobody knew what that was. It would have made no sense. Yeah. So, that's good. It's a good looking logo. Yeah, fantastic. We didn't play that. Did we play this? Oh no, we didn't play this. We were on the bikes, but we we did not deal we with this upstairs. situation. Oh man, this game is. Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! So I'm gonna put this out there. I'm gonna say uh, Genesis is clearly better than Super Nintendo. Um, I think in terms so of I, the I games were, I would like. Play. So if I were talking like five Desert Island video games, let's say you can only have five games and they all have to be for the same console. From this so, era. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I'm talking like one emulator, if I can only have one emulator installed with a complete set, I would probably do Super Nintendo because you've got stuff like the Ganbare Goemon games. You play the Goemon games on Super Nintendo? They're, no, because there's only one of them in America. Oh man, well there's five of them. In Japan, uh, and well, you have the advantage of access to the Nihongo. Oh yeah, titles. but you don't, you don't need the Nihongo for Goemon too. No. It's, it's a straight action game. Uh, you know what we should do? We should buddy dump Goemon Three, which is like a Zelda Link to the Past, but for two players. Can you get an English translation? Uh, I don't think there is one, but the oh, story's, there's gotta the be at this crap. point. And uh, the story is just kind of trash, full of references to the pop culture of that time. But uh, that's a good one. But if, if you're talking like a desert island where you can only have five games and one console, yeah. I think it would be Genesis. 
Yeah, but then what five games? I don't. I would. I wouldn't. I don't know if I would want Genesis to be my Desert Island console. Because I, like I always imagine between it, Super Nintendo and right. Genesis. Okay, let's. Well, let's, let's I, I would. Even I would further. want just RPGs. I would think to just spend RPGs. my time with. I would want Land Stalker. Right. I would want. I would want Land Stalker, Castlevania Bloodlines, Contra Hardcore. Uh, and that's a pretty good three. Uh, yeah. What would What would you have for Super Nintendo? Chrono Final, Trigger. Chrono Trigger. Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, you probably have Final Fantasy VI. Any of the Dragon Quests on there worth doing? Uh, Dragon Quest V is real good, but that's not the best version of Dragon Quest V. Man, the slow motion when he attacks the train. Probably Earthbound, Chrono Trigger Earthbound. Man, look at him just shooting those out of the air. Shows you how to play. How many times? Do you see him not shooting a whole lot? Oh, whatever. Do you notice that, though? It's because they programmed the attract mode to do, like, five things. How many times do you think you can play Link to the Past without wanting to kill you, so? I like Link to the Past. Have you heard lately everybody saying it's the best Zelda game? It's like suddenly that's the opinion everybody has. Did everybody get, like, a little bit smarter? Uh, I guess. That's been my opinion forever. So it's weird. I think that I like Link, is probably I think, tied I with think it's number Link's one. Awakening. Link's Awakening is number two. If I had to, you know, over under. I think it's... Uh, Contra Hardcore is the best Contra game. I'm real bad at it because I just... Uh, I So I had it on Sega Genesis, right, for yeah. the longest time. Let's just watch all these attract modes. I had it on the Genesis for a long time, and uh, I played it a lot, but I wasn't ever, like, good at it, you know? I'm glad the kids have realized Ocarina of Time is not good. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean... It's just kind of a big, ugly game with it's a big. in it. It's big. I'll it say that. It was extremely impressive when it came when out. When it came out, sure. Real real interesting and new. Now, not fun. I mean... It's about as fun as it should be, but more the Zelda games that have come along since have all been better than it. I'm a big, dumb jerk, so I'm like... I can see... Uh, I, I didn't really love Ocarina of Time when it came out. Wind Waker is better. That Skyward Sword, better. They're all just more fun. Let's be real. More fun. More fun, more laughs, more jokes. I want them to put Skyward Sword on a darn HD. Uh, with no yeah. uh, no motion controls. Just put it on the Wii U. Does it use the motion controls in any meaningful way? Oh, are you kidding? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's you got gotta, the, you gotta hold your sword up and sword stuff. aiming stuff. You can aim stuff. I feel like we should, uh... Nintendo should, Switch? Uh, Cut like a week. What? Two weeks? Coming out in a couple weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Next Sunday, do you still want to go to wherever the hell that guy invited me to go to? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Let me, let me get the details from him. We should, uh, watch some super plays of this. And then, uh, like on our own time. Yeah. And, and try, and try and to get play actually good at it. Yeah. You just gotta kind of like. I love that this guy's this made game. of like individual, like pixel slides, so they can get this weird animation going. Yeah, I love it. So he's broken up into these horizontal things, and they're like, ah, on a TV, it's all gonna smudge together. It's a real good first boss. Yeah. Yeah, you can like learn. So this game is uh, set pieces. It's like, it's not like a sublime flow action game. It's like you have to. You've got to learn the script and play the part, you know what I mean? So you see all these indie games that are like trying to be... Trying to be old, sweet. Old school games, but none of them are getting real creative in this way, you know? Like, you don't see somebody being like... We've never really had like a Gunstar Heroes clone. I don't think I can get it. Oh, you're doing oh, no, one I, I played one player. And even yeah. if there was a Gunstar Heroes clone... I don't know, I don't think the kids are creative enough to come up with these weird old bosses. Well, when I'm thinking about uh, Truck Hack, I just keep thinking about Contra Hardcore and just the insane amount of variance in this game. Die Tom Jack says, isn't Zelda 1 the best Zelda? There was that Kickstarter. I don't know what that means. What? He's owning you again. I don't know if he is. 
Uh, strong disagree on Skyward Sword, says Zen Quick. Nah, that game's good. It gets kind of weird, but whatever. Shoot. What was I gonna... Yeah, I really like Skyward Sword. It's got personality, man. I like those characters. Ah, oh, yes. Brownie. Does flying the bird around kind of suck? Eh, yeah. I mean, overworlds suck a lot of the time. Anybody who says they really liked riding Link's stupid horse around in Ocarina of Time is an idiot. Uh, GTA 3 hadn't come out yet. They're like, oh, it's so breathtaking that you have this, like, five seconds of map to go from one edge of to the other edge of. Can I make an ID? Master Rocket 64 says the worst dungeon in the Zelda series is the one in Majora's Mask with the Gibdos demanding stuff. I don't remember. Gibdo dislikes smoke. <laughs> That's not. Well, Die Tom Jack says the darkness slash grave dungeon is the Shoot. worst dungeon in Ocarina of Time and is worse than the Water Temple. That's not a good dungeon, no. Uh, I can't believe I died already. Ocarina of Time is just confusing. Like, unnecessarily confusing. You never really know what the hell it's trying to get you to do. Now all these kids, all they want to do is beat it as fast as they can. Because they don't even want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just face the facts of why speedruns happen. <laughs> Because people don't want to be playing the game. <laughs> They're like, I want to get this over with as quickly as possible. Because it is pure torture for me. Shoot! Hey man, I'll stream some Skyward Sword. I like that game. I haven't beat it yet. I have a save pretty much, I think, at the end. I did it. It's on my Wii, though. I need to stream a Wii. I gotta plug Look at like that. eight things in. Beat him get dying. the things! Oh. Oh, yes! Man, good guns in this dumb game. Yeah, they just sat around and thought about them. Do, 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 Man, do, by do, giving do, you do. bombs that you can, like, use... Yeah, I, d I did not like know it. when to use those ever. I just kind of... I love this, that you grab this thing. It's just like, yeah, I'm gonna... Then I'm gonna get exploded after beating up some cars. I got my B gun. Whole city's burning in the background. I love this guy. Yeah, I, I gotta stream more stuff, but I don't know what to stream. I think I'm gonna stream that new Tales game more. It's a pretty good Tales game. Shoot! Yeah, I almost feel like doing this one P is maybe. It has less difficulty, right? Like there's less crap going on. No, one that's guy. The same. Oh really? It's just you know, it's it has a habit of turning into something of a cacophony when, uh, when everybody's running around yeah, when can't really make players. sense of anything. I mean, yeah, there is, you know, some, uh... What? Oh, what? You done got Daddy's blasted, Daddy's mad. Man. Daddy's real mad. Daddy's real mad. You know where we're going, right? Where? Chicken Taco Tuesday. Chicken Taco Tuesday on a Friday's afternoon evening. Chicken Tuesday. Uh oh. It's gonna try and cut out, cut off your ankles. Have you ever had here. a really good Chicken Tuesday on a Taco Friday? Uh, yeah. Shut up! Daddy's dead, and all I had to do was slide. If anybody in the chat has a suggestion on what time would be good for me to stream, let me know, because I never know when people actually want to watch this crap. Like at Daddy's night? Again. During the day? Whoa! Oh, you can slide through that? Yeah, you can slide through most stuff. I just See, yeah, I was wondering, like, when you can use the slide. It just has a very peculiar distance. Oh, somebody just got here. <laughs> hey, oh. hey, everybody, they say. Oh, oh welcome to the party, man. You're yeah, late. Joe. We're gonna, I'm gonna go to the one we didn't Joe. go to before. Honk and a honk. Gunstar Heroes. So Contra technically has a storyline, is that what I'm being led to believe? Oh yeah. 
Nobody in Nakazato saw up to that. So in the first Contra, you have uncovered the alien menace, and you believe that you have- Red Whoa. Falcon! His name is Red Falcon. That the guy you're fighting right now? In Contra 1, yeah. Oh. Okay. So that's what? You're a regular army guy and you discover there's aliens? Yeah, so... And uh, then Contra 3 you comes would, along? You would be best served to not bother thinking about the plot in Contra. It's, it's ridiculous. Well, Contra purpose. 3 is the alien wars. Have you... Wow. Have you played... Uh, A video uh, game? Neo Contra? Yeah, but that's when aliens have like definitely invaded. Uh, yeah. I don't think the aliens having invaded is uh, really the point of that story. Well, how did the alien wars conclude? Man, uh, maybe you haven't played Neo Contra. Neo because my point is that the story is complete nonsense. I just and remember the game that your acknowledges you're... that it's complete. Nonsense. Oh, does it? Yeah. Let's play Neo Contra next week. Yeah. Okay, we will. Let's do it. Does I that have beat... infinite continues? Um. No, but we can beat it. It's a, it's an easy game. Yeah. It was very disappointing how easy it was. I would like to be the black guy. You mean Jaguar? Yeah. Uh, Yagyu Jaguar Genbe. Yeah. So. Man, yeah. People did. I can't believe I'm just dying. Hey, so we gonna play Super Bomberman R? Is it good? I don't know, it's not out yet. It's on the Switch. Does it have unlimited continues in the two player co op campaign? Lol. No, probably not. There's really nothing to get on that Switch launch day other than Zelda, huh? Other than Zelda? Are you high? What? As though Zelda's not great? I'm just wondering if there's like a second thing. There's one two, Well, see you yeah. later says the Alien Wars concluded in Contra Shattered Soldier. Yeah, that, which is the one I That took this. a while. I think thinking about the plot of Contra can get you killed. Hey man, somebody thought real hard about that Castlevania plot enough for a Netflix series about it. Man, yeah, okay. you I don't think you're like hearing what I'm saying here. I'm saying the stories are ridiculous and that's okay and who cares? Well, uh, I care. I'm interested in knowing what the ridiculousness well, entails. Well, no, I mean, no, I mean, you just literally spoke the sentence. This is what I'm taking issue with. You just literally spoke the sentence. Somebody cared enough about the Castlevania plot to make a Netflix series. Did they care? Really? I mean, what's the proof? Maybe. They, what's the proof that they cared? Uh, they said there it's a like a darkly comedic uh, Netflix series. Is it? Castlevania is ridiculous. I heard it was a Game of Thrones type thing. Man, you gotta read all the words. They said it's, it'll be as violent as Game of Thrones. They didn't say it's going to be like Game of Thrones. Castlevania's not funny. Uh, is Castlevania not funny though? I mean, what is Castlevania? Do you remember the bosses in Castlevania 1? You fight God darn Frankenstein's monster in there. That's not like... Frankenstein's Dracula. monster is scary. Yeah, but he's not in uh, any of the Dracula or vampire stories. This is why we gotta do tape talk more often. We gotta just do the news. Yeah. The hot news. But yeah, like... Anyway, I wish I was writing the Castlevania Netflix. I could write a pretty good dumb vampire story, man. I shouldn't be right there. You think all the Belmonts are gonna be really hot dudes? I mean, who knows? I just, I saw a thread on my Facebook where someone was like, I wonder what it's going to be about. And it's like, man, who cares? They better get this right. Uh, and it's like... <laughs> Why? And it's like... <laughs> I don't care if they get it right. If, if It'll probably be even more of, funny if they get it horribly if wrong. If you, like, care at all about any of the main characters of a Castlevania game, there's something wrong with yeah, you. Yeah, Castlevania's not a series that anybody's You like, haven't read a book. Or, I mean, I hate to keep using I love Alucard. I think it could be cool. Like, I think there's a way you could do it. I think Castlevania is some very simple Dracula lore that has invented the idea of a family that is destined to fight Dracula. That's cool. Why not? Uh, yeah, I mean... Or you could just, I don't know, do whatever and call it Castlevania. Sure. Uh, and as long as it's good, and it has Dracula, and it has like a guy named Belmont in it, like, 
As, as Diatom Jack points out, it has a maid who knows martial arts and will kick your ass, so... It's got a kind of interesting, like, the idea that but Dracula's yeah. castle is an important plot point. Yeah. That it is a ever-shifting castle. I think any attempts to, uh... You could do something Appreciate cool with it that. as fiction... Uh, to appreciate the video games as storytelling is uh, no, ultimately no. futile. But yeah, so as for my point I was making earlier about Contra is if you played all of Neo Contra, uh, you would know that these games are confrontationally uh, opposed to you trying to consider them a story. It's like part of the joke. Contra is a joke. The plot in Contra, because Nobuya Nakazato took over, and the idea of a plot in these games is just a complete ridiculousness. Like, Neo Contra just, it just kind of kicks you in the nuts just over and over again for even trying to think of the plot. I love it. Uh, it's just ridiculous and hilarious, man. I'm just saying if Alucard's not hot, I'm boycotting. Just kill it. Was it Krang? Well, I think it's I don't know, just it's, about time yeah. to stop. I was going to say it's an interesting story bad. because uh, Konami's just a whole interesting situation right now. Where they're making video games, but not really. You know? Yeah, they suck. Did they announce anything for the Switch? I saw their... Oh, Bomberman. The Bomberman, yeah, they own Bomberman. So they continue making money off that. So they just own like a couple franchises and they're going to make like maybe a couple games out of them every other year. Yeah, but uh... Metal Gear Survive. You know, we're talking like they fired all the people that worked on those games in the past or created them or uh, designed those games to begin with. Uh, they're, they're all out on the street, basically. And, well, yeah, like, we're, we're and getting... They, they hired 25-year-olds. We're getting blood, uh, blood stained or whatever the hell. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're not all Koji Igarashi. There's a lot of people who work on that stuff. Who, well, uh, was anybody left from Hudson? They just bought Hudson's IPs, right? They own all Hudson's IPs, But did yeah. they, they didn't, like, hire their programmers, I don't know. I think everybody from Hudson's on the street, yeah. I don't know if everyone from Hudson is on the street, necessarily. I, I think they are, actually. And I think they outsource those games to China or India. Anyway, this Castlevania thing is interesting just because... Well, the last Castlevania game must be, what, four or five years now? Four or five years, the man says. Well? Four or five years, the man says, is the latest Castlevania game. Wasn't the last one like one of those Dawn of something for like a Xbox 360? That was a lot more than four years ago. No, they had they had that 3DS one thing. It's been like four or five years. It hasn't been that long. I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't know. Since a, like a real core. I mean, like it's been a while since they had like a 2D here's, here's thing. Here's the problem with Castlevania. Okay, here it is. There's some good game design in Rondo of Blood, and mm -hmm. it's it's great. Yeah. And it builds on the legacy set forth by the NES Famicom Castlevanias. It builds on the legacy. Builds on that strong legacy. Real legacy builder. Right? And then Symphony of the Night uh, diverges somewhat from that legacy to add some new stuff. And everybody just, the dog has just been chasing its tail since uh, Symphony of the Night. And it's just the same crap all the time. And they get obsessed with blowjobbing themselves over their their idiot of a plot and it's uh all these stupid anime characters just blowjobbing themselves Vito didn't they make like an Aria of Sorrow oh no Aria of Sorrow had like animated not Aria of Sorrow Dawn of Sorrow it had an animated intro you nub did they fire that Kojima lady who drew all the pretty Castlevania pictures Ayami Kojima she's on the street yeah no really yeah, she's got to be. Nah. Isn't she working on Bloodstained? No, she's not. No, she? that's not her. Uh, also, did they fire that Ayami Kojima? Like, where have you been? Did you see the the, the last games that came out on DS? Yeah, don't, they didn't even have not her, her stuff. In. But she wasn't in there. I figured maybe she's they moved her. She's probably on the street. <laughs> Stop it. I mean, she's probably out there for on the side of the road. Now I want to know where she's at. Uh, let's open up my front door. She might be on the side of the road. Okay. That's 
That's a little, I'm sure she fell. She got right back on her feet. Ayami Kojima Pretty lives sure in a dumpster. Hold on. Uh, she is self-taught. known for her work on the Castlevania games, it says. Her most recent game is Bloodstained. Ooh, Inti Creates. And previous to that, it was the Dynasty Warriors 7 art book in 2011. Yeah. So Harmony of Despair uh, from seven years ago. Was her last. Uh, wow, that, that was the last one. It was huh? the most recent Castlevania game, yeah. Uh, Wait, which one's Harmony of Despair? Oh, that's the that's, that's fake the, one. That's the terrible. Uh, that game is terrible. Uh, it's... It's I still never played bad. it. I don't know why they didn't just make a Castlevania game instead of making a Castlevania that requires four players. I actually like Curse of Darkness for the PS2. So is I'm that the sure. second 3D one? Uh, yeah. It has a good camera. I tried playing Lament of Innocence for a while, and then uh, the PS2 emulator apparently has some problem with it, so... You mean LOI? That's what we call it in the Castlevania fan community. LOI. You know, Lament of Innocence takes place first. So, uh, in the Castlevania plot. No, it doesn't. I stupidly gave Bloodstained a bunch of my money. Uh, uh, Bloodstained looks all right. I mean, no, Daddy's I'm sure it'll be play. fun. I just shouldn't have gave it as much money Daddy's as gonna I did. Daddy's going to play it. Yeah, I mean... Daddy's going to play it. I'll enjoy it. I'm probably not going to regret it. Don't... Daddy's going to play it. You shut up. Maybe, uh... Maybe, shut up. Maybe, Daddy's going to play okay. it. Maybe, maybe what? What are you talking about? I probably shouldn't have back shown Mew 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yeah. There's no way. The that. highest Kickstarter video game crowdfunded campaign until it was surpassed by Shenmue 3. How's Shenmue 3 going, guys? Huh? <laughs> There's no way that that's ever coming out, right? <laughs> oh, it's scheduled for release in December 2017. Is it? That's what it says on the Wikipedia. It got six million dollars. It has a hundred and twenty thousand comments. Where's Nobia Nakazato? Is he still alive? Is he okay? They're saying there has been an update every month. Nobia Nakazato does not have a Wikipedia page. I've been waiting for this game for so many years, says David Headland. Really? You didn't have anything else to think about since Shenmue 2 came out? Man, I, I love how most of the comments at the time Shenmue 3's Kickstarter was announced were, I'm not going to play Shenmue 1 and 2. Yeah, none of those kids had played Shenmue is the other thing. I don't, I don't even understand. So there's like this entire generation of kids who I guess just watched all the YouTube videos and they go, yeah, Shenmue, man. It's like a, you know... It's like a work of art. It's like you don't own a Dreamcast. You don't down, own down, 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 Right? Yeah. But I guess those kids want to be part of the magic. I love it. I like Shenmue. I like Shenmue, Shenmue because it's, it's weird, man. Uh, it's bad, but, it's, you know, whatever. Right? Eh, I mean, it's not, it's, not, it's not perfect. I don't think it's bad. I wouldn't uh, say bad. When I played it... At I'd say time, not a game it, that most people would want to play. When I played it at the time it came out, uh, my answer to the question of is it bad was immediately, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> like, I mean, it was it was neat and interesting. Yeah. But it was bad. They could have done some stuff to make it a bit more what I think they were trying I to was, make it. I was in a creative writing class, the only creative writing class I ever took. And Shenmue came out when uh, I was in that class. And I remember being like, just applying all the words of the creative writing professor to uh, the way the story unfolded in that game. And I, 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 I remember thinking, like distinctly comparing Shenmue to uh, this uh, guy, this short story that this guy had written. That was just like, man, shut up. This short story this guy had written where it's like, he clearly is like really excited to write the part where the guy says a bad word, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, I get you, buddy. I get where you're coming from. So, it's like, I think my problem with Shenmue is uh, 
you take all the time to have this interesting world. Like when we were playing it recently. Was I here when we were playing it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We did a, we did and you a, just go, and then yeah, there's just a down guy. Down. There's like a guy who owns a pizza shop. A Japanese guy with a pizza oh, shop. Man. And you go in. Hey, Rio! Rio! And you guys, you can just talk about pizza and stuff. And I'm like, you gotta take all the time to come up with all these locations and like characters and give them all unique voice actors. Throw a couple side quests in there, maybe, that make me... Throw a couple that... side quests in there, the man says. Well, it's like, what, what, what was the point of adding all this detail if there's... There's literally no point in the story where you ever need to talk to the pizza shop guy. You can go the entire game without ever talking. So, like, in, in, there's, like, some people would be like, oh, well, that's great. You know, you get the well, whole here's, world. Here's what I you don't think. gotta walk around the whole house and touch everything in it if you don't want to. Here's what I think. But I'm I like, I want to interact uh, with these I, guys more. I think they uh, fully, they didn't just put all that stuff in there and be like, yeah, we're going to just put this stuff in here and then not do anything with it. I think they put it all in there thinking maybe they'll do something with it. And then what they got around to doing stuff with is what you play. It's what the game was. Right. And, uh, and, you know, for better or for worse. They ended up not doing very much with very, uh, with, like, with any, any of it. No, no, with nothing. And I remember being, uh, you know, this was just me, whatever, right? Yeah. They uh, made it so if you go there on Christmas, Santa's walking around. So. Yeah. They got that some was, weird stuff in there. That was uh, Sega's thing, wasn't it? Is if you play our games on Christmas, something's going to happen. <laughs> That was why they invented the Dreamcast. The the, They're like, listen. The big innovation. When Christmas comes around. Christmas is a big deal in our games. <laughs> We're, Nintendo's got the uh, colorful characters. We got the Christmas delights you've been colorful. looking for. Oh, God dang it. We got the colorful Santa. Uh, they were talking about like uh, they were going to put Shenmue 1 and 2 on the PlayStation somehow. That ain't going to happen. Maybe it will. There's probably no source code for it. Is it even Sega putting it out? Um, that's another no, thing I'm it's confused not. about. Yeah, it's really weird. There's no way that game's gonna be good because the first one because the first good. two aren't good. <laughs> like, it was uh, the, certainly the work of Vision. Yeah, I mean, but, I will say they're not they're not what they should be. You know, it's like they yeah. come close to being what I would really want. And for that, I have. They to got a pretty decent like battle system. Like the fighting is fun. Yeah, but you don't ever fight. Yeah. <laughs> And then <laughs> did you did you beat Shenmue 2? No, I didn't beat it. I got to Hong Kong and then I stopped. You mean you got to Kowloon? Oh, Kowloon. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Kowloon. Yeah. Walled city. The old walled city. So. Uh, Do you yeah. eventually start using the battle system that you spent? You spend no, all this time. <laughs> you don't. There's there's like a you have a couple fights with like a couple guys, but it's never. Yeah. Fun. That's the whole thing about Shenmue is. You learn all these martial arts moves. There's like what, like three or four total fights in the Man. whole game. And then you have to do like this street fighting tournament to uh, get through the pre Kowloon Hong Kong part. Right? Yeah. You have to like part and and every battle is like a puzzle. Like you've got to ring out your opponent to win this one. It's like, man, just it's let just, me punch some cats, It's please. Virtua Fighter, man. Just let me play man. Virtua Fighter. Shenmue at least uh, builds the first one towards the dockside run around, beat up a couple hundred gangsters like finale. So at least you get one solid, maybe half hour of just beating up dudes because they stole your forklift or whatever the fucking plot was. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, they steal your forklift and then they run over your dad with it. <laughs> that was the plot of Shenmue 1. Wait, yeah, what, were, were any of those guys. I guess they were working for the How mob. How have I not figured out this guy's pattern? Man? What would you play in the game center for Shenmue 3? Oh, that's a good question. What Sega arcade games have come in? Well, it's still going to be set in like the like, yeah, late 80s. Yeah, it's going to take place uh, immediately after Shenmue 2 ends, I, I presume. So you can't get too modern with it. You can't be playing Sonic and Mario at the Rio Olympic Games. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I imagine the stream is uh, ending shortly. Oh yeah. If you wanna give uh, your opinion on which arcade game Shenmue 3 will feature, or should feature. Well, it's gonna be uh, in China, and it's gonna be without uh, Sega's approval, probably. Oh yeah, Sega's probably not gonna do It's It's like, Shenmue 2 ends with you in rural China.
just fighting this guy. What a weird game this is. All these, unavo these, all these seemingly unavoidable attacks. into a disc? Well. Well, everybody, I believe that's it. I believe that's all of our... Uh, How's everybody doing in the chat? I had a good time playing this game and talking about tapes with everybody. And that's all I've got. Everybody have a good night. Bye.